So I wanted to do this video on people in the arts and creative people and working with people in creative industry. And uh, I've been in the arts now for almost 10 years and that's within the visual arts field and or as an actor. And what I've discovered throughout this 10 year period um, being in both of these industries um, and a quote that my father relayed to me about three weeks ago that has really stuck with me since. And uh, I can't remember what the actor that said it, but it was an Irish actor that said it, a fairly famous Irish actor that said it. It's like, you can only believe um, people in the film industry for less than seven minutes at a time. And uh, I, I've really come to believe that it's true, um, not just on a local level from, you know, asking people to do projects with me uh, and getting pumped up about ideas, excited about ideas, uh, but also on a, on a bigger level of other actors that I know. Um, in, in my view is that creative people uh, don't, can't seem to follow through with what they're going to say or or they don't really care. It doesn't mean anything. Uh, the, the idea of saying, oh, you know, I'd love to put you in this, or I have this really great idea that, that I think uh, uh, will be really beneficial. And I think we'll, oh, we, and everyone gets really excited by this idea that somebody comes up with and there's a group of people and we're all excited. And then two days later, uh, that idea uh, falls by the wayside. Um, and people are busy and people can't commit to that idea. Uh, and my business partner at the moment and um, fellow actor, uh, we have our own comedy sketch videos. I can just put the link below to the videos, uh, mainly running off uh, Facebook at the moment. And he is the only person uh, I have come across within the arts who will say what he's going to do and then commit to it because most people ha like 95 percent of people in my opinion like you know I, I, I think that's a fairly high number but realistically uh it's the case picasso said you know if, if they took my paints away i'd use pastels if they took my pastels away i'd use crayons if they took everything away from me I'm paraphrasing now I spit on my finger and I draw on the wall you know this this concept and uh, it leads me to believe that the drive isn't for art itself or or the art forms itself it's for prestige and glory now that must be why people don't commit and it's a shame really because uh, I come across a lot of super talented people over the years but it's really those those who, who, who just commit and keep going uh, are the ones that actually do well. It's not the fucking super talented ones. You know, I think that's a bit of a cliche, but really, honestly, I'm seeing it now. Like, you know, I think artists like to live in this world of like, oh, if I become discovered, if someone finds me, you know, then they'll see how talented I am. Um, uh, I, I'm just... You, you know, I just haven't got my break and all that bullshit. But, you know, all this time waiting around and when that so-called break comes, they probably won't be that good because they haven't been participating in, in the thing the whole way through. You know, it, it's easier to sit in the sidelines and judge. Uh, a lot a lot of artists and a lot of actors are very judgmental, you know. Oh, yeah, I didn't like that, didn't I? But then those people aren't working on the craft constantly. So, um and then they're like, oh, I'm really talented. I just haven't been discovered. Well, you don't deserve to be discovered if, 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 you're, if you're not working on it the whole time. I grew up um, watching a lot of YouTube videos and, you know, this kind of watered down um, pop psychology geared towards motivation. And, you know, I've been watching that stuff for 10 plus years now, you know, and I, I think it really has like sunk into my my psychology and I I do I do truly believe in committing to what you say you're going to do and, and and not flaking on a project and not flaking on your projects 
and committing to them, even no matter how shit they could turn out or whatever. Um, but, you know, you, you, on watching all these videos, I think, I think a lot of people, when you talk to them, they're like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, we'll just keep going, man. We'll just, yeah, just keep putting it out there. But in, in reality, you know, most people don't say what they're going to do. Um, and that, and, and that's, that's literally final. Like, you know, um, people are so excited in the moment. And then, you know, when the real implications and the work that has to come along with putting something out there, creative product, where, whether it is on sort of entrepreneurial or, or artistic, you know, you have to deal with the marketing side of things. You have to deal with, you know, the, um, you know, marketing online, um, um, getting people to watch your stuff, uh, learning uh, techniques, how to use programs, technology, uh, learning how to use cameras. Uh, there's so much learning involved with putting your own product out there. Um, aside from the fact uh, of the product you're selling, so the skills involved with whatever you're saying, you have to learn all the technicalities of putting that out there. Um, and I think a lot of people, the, the, the common mantra is that, oh yeah, we just commit to a product, you know, you know, don't give up, never give up. This kind of pops, uh, you know, uh, failure is not an option. Well, it's bullshit. Most people fail all the time. They just, they, just, they, they make it seem like they're not failing or they, uh, they express, they put, put their work out there or they stop doing this or they, they flake or they turn up, say they're busy and it's just because they're afraid of failure. Uh, especially in the arts, especially in the arts. I, I, I really don't think, uh, you know, and, and my thing is, uh, I just keep committing. I just keep committing to the process, no matter how shit it is. And sometimes it's shit and it's awkward and, and the growing pains are awful and you put so much work into one project and, you know, we can 20 people watch it, but you just do it anyways because, uh, because that's who you are, you know. That, I think, in my opinion, that's what a true artist is. They'll do it anyways, even if there was no audience. And my point being is, I think there's a lot of people in the arts, especially acting, uh, who who do it for the prestige. And I think that comes out in the choices that they make. They 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 they're always looking for more commercial success in terms of, I want to be a Hollywood movie star, I want to be a TV star, all this bullshit. And they they every decision they make is geared from that point of view. And, and, and you can see that in their work. There's no depth there. Uh, um, and the choices they make are always on the more superficial side. Um, but um, it's unfortunate because, because it's, it's those people I think that really excel because they're willing to do, anything and be in anything uh, that that has uh, a light at the end of the tunnel as opposed f to doing something from an expressive point of view and uh, I think that's really unfortunate um, because when you when you when you are in the arts and you're doing it from the perspective of prestige and wanting to portray this image of success uh, via via acting through your art form uh, it, it's always false and i think you'll always be attracted to the more aesthetic sides of things you know uh, like your performance will be your performances will, will only ever be a very surface level kind of sexy uh, mirage of 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 performing and never really deep or true to life, you know?